Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another episode of Doom Mod Madness. This time around, we're checking out Stronghold, Edge of Chaos, and this is a pretty interesting mod. Inverts the usual gameplay style of Doom. Rather than rushing into an infested base, you're instead trying to defend a base from potential infestation. It's, it's basically a Doom Tower Defense, Doom Horde Mode, and it is in fact designed to be played cooperatively, but because I don't have any friends that are usually awake at this particular time of day when I record this kind of stuff, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to do this on my lonesome. But hey, don't feel bad for me, I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with this particular mod. It's, um, it's, it's got quite a lot of depth to it for something that seems so kind of simple on the surface. It's, it's basically stop the demons from passing a particular line. Well, at least that's one game mode in particular. From what I've read up, there's actually five different game modes available for this particular mod. So far, I've only been able to access Deadline, which is uh, the type I'm currently playing, and I haven't really made all that much progress so far. This is, in fact, level four uh, out of 35. 35 levels in total. I can only imagine how crazy this particular mod can get in its uh, tougher later stages, because I've, I've already been having a little bit of trouble. Usually wave three, wave four, and onwards is where uh, this particular mod decides to bring the hammer down and uh, decides to make you sweat, especially if you're playing on a standard difficulty like Hurt Me Plenty. I thought I'd, I thought I'd stop being a wuss for once and actually play on Hurt Me Plenty, and um, it, it's been kicking my ass. It's been kicking my ass as a result, but fortunately, we also have access to wonderful, wonderful power-ups in this particular mod, which you can buy in the hub level between stages, which hopefully I'll be able to show you later, provided I, uh, you know, actually complete this stage. But we're going to plant a few turrets. These are endlessly useful. You can basically plant them at particular choke points, and they'll do a little bit of damage for you while you're occupied on a, on a different part of the stage, for example. Same goes for the mines, actually. Uh, you just plant them in the path of oncoming enemies, and they'll basically provide you with a little bit of insurance while your back's turned, especially when it comes to enemies like Pinky Demons, because uh, these guys are fast. They're probably the biggest threat in this particular game mode, because the whole point of Deadline is if one single solitary demon gets across the line in your base, you're done. That's, that's failure. But we're not going to let that happen. We're going to be victorious. We are going to prevail, and... I'm going to put down as many goddamn mines as it takes to stave off this bloody invasion. I've tried this stage a few times already. It's, uh, it is a bit of a tricky one. But I just enjoy trying out different tactics because there's a few different power-ups you can employ. Like I say, we've got the turrets. We've also got uh, force field walls that we can use as well, but I haven't got any of those in my inventory. What we do have access to, however, are power-ups that enable us to get our grubby mitts on high-powered weaponry, but I'm saving that for a critical moment when the, uh, the oncoming horde gets a little too overwhelming. We've also got access to marine reinforcements. I, I'm, I'm pretty much going to wait till I run out of my auto turrets to use those guys. And what else have we got? I think we've also got access to exploding barrels, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to use those. Because I, I find mines fulfill the same purpose without having to, to manually detonate them. Well, that's the fifth wave done. Another five to go till we can declare ourselves victorious. Seriously, I, I am really, really determined to, to, to win this one. I really want a good run. But we've now got access to a rocket launcher, which is always nice to have. And that usually means we're probably going to be up against slightly more annoying enemies in this particular wave. So uh, I'm going to add a few more mines just to trip up a few more pinkies if they breach my, my auto gun defenses. That one nearly did. And what have we got? We got, we got silver caca demons in the distance there. They look like they might take a little bit of, uh, of blasting to bring down. So we're going to focus on those. The other lane doesn't seem to be too cluttered, so... Uh, Good egg for me. Means I can focus my attentions without worrying too much about the base. Oh, cool. The other auto turret really took care of that other lane for me. Well, we just got to prepare for... Ugh, jeez. Wave 7. This is going to escalate quickly now. I think I'm, I'm going to have to bring some of my power-ups into play soon, depending on how hectic this particular wave gets, but... As long as I keep eating bullets from my chain gun, we'll be okay. 
but this this wave is actually deceptively deceptively mild. I'm a little worried. I'm, I'm thinking this uh, this particular stage is holding back on me. Even then, I'm, I'm still enjoying the variety of enemies in here, all the different variants. I'm pretty sure one of the enemies here is actually a sprite version of a Quake 3 enemy. This guy. This now dead guy. But they leave behind little metallic spheres that can explode after they die, so you, you've got to be a little aware of what you've, uh, what you've just killed in certain circumstances. Oh wow! Wave 7 done! Okay, <laughs> what are we up against next? I'm actually a little worried. Yeah, I think it's about time we uh, we start using the power up. So I'm going to spawn a marine reinforcement. Stick him down here. Hopefully he can lend a hand. Oh wow, he spawned with a plasma gun. That is quite possibly the best spawn I could hope for. They're, they're a tiny bit randomized, those guys. I'm just going to take care of this guy here and uh, spawn another marine. And fingers crossed he also has a plasma gun. That would be amazing. Oh wow, when did that happen? Damn, these guys are good. <laughs> We're on wave nine already? I I'm, I'm getting my super weapons out. Where's my super weapon? Why didn't the power-up spawn a super weapon? Are you kidding me? It only gave me a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh well, oh well. When life gives you lemons, you fire rockets back in its face. Oh crap, that's the alarm. Where is it? There's nothing in there. Okay, the alarm isn't going off anymore. The alarm... It's basically your things are inside the base, get back to the goddamn base right now, uh, signal. I'm hoping that was just a bit of a, a bit of a bug, because we've got to really focus on these barons. I'm going to see if a barrel takes care of them. No, nope, that was useless. <laughs> I'm not buying any more barrels. Oh, my marines are dead. Oh. This is for Frank and Tom, you son of a bitch. Oh crap, it's the alarm again. Did I miss something? Oh sh Oh man. That was a spectre. That was an invisible pinky. That's why the alarm went off earlier. He was stuck on the deadline. That could have ruined my run. <laughs> oh, we're now on to wave 10. Please. Oh, please let me win this. That would be so sweet. Seriously, my leg is bouncing like crazy here. I I've I've never gotten this close to the end of this stage before. I'm, I'm just going to use the rest of these sodden barrels. They've got to be useful for something. <laughs> I'm going all out. I'm going all out. I want to win this friggin' stage. Okay, we've got pinkies. They're not so bad. They're pretty easy to take care of. Oh, those are rockets. What? Oh my god, we've got Mecha Barons. <laughs> this game. This friggin' game. It doesn't want me to win. How am I supposed to... Please let this gun be effective against these guys. They're just far too close to my base already. This is no good. This is not good. Why won't you die? Okay, more, more mines. More mines for the mine god. Christ. Eat it, please. For the love of God, just eat my missiles. You are not getting into my base. Oh, yes. Yes. We... <laughs> oh... Thank God for that! So, uh, that was stage three. That was a, a bit of a close victory, but all is well. We are now back in the hub, and this is where you can select new missions from. It's a pretty cool setup, and it's divided into tiers. So, uh, right now, I've completed Mars, I've completed Sigma 2, and I've completed Maelstrom. We've got to complete... Crimson in order to unlock the final stage of this particular tier and once we've beaten that stage We can then move on to the tier two stages and I can only imagine the madness that awaits me beyond that door Seriously 35 stages in this mod is ridiculous. It is absolutely stuffed to the gills with awesome content I mean this area alone is super cool this entire hub area you can talk to NPCs They'll give you useful hints you can stock up on new power-ups uh, such as that power-up that crapped out on me last time. <laughs> but we're going to buy another one because uh, Uber Weapons, the chance to have one is uh, is better than, you know, not having the power-up at all. And we're going to stock up on more sentry units as well because sentry units are badass. As well as marines. I'm definitely going to take the chance of getting another plasma gun marine because that was pretty damn useful last time. This over here allows you to enhance 
your current health or armor. So you can use this to add a little bit of a top up to your maximum health amount, which is pretty cool. Same goes for armor. And another shop around here allows you to buy med packs, which you can deploy in battle. This big heart uh, power up over here costs a ridiculous amount of money, and that's to revive uh, co op players, I believe. Which I've currently got three of in my inventory, if I can cycle through it here. Yep, I've got three of them there. I can't really use it because I'm playing on my lonesome. And um, press the wrong button. We've also got adverts. Now, that might seem a little boring to most people, but I've been watching these cycle through on um, previous playthroughs, and there's some pretty goddamn funny crap cycling on this. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of really fun attention to detail. I have no idea what's going on right there. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw a screen earlier on that involved that a particularly infamous mod where you can go and have sex with imps. It's got to be around here somewhere, but for some reason it's just not popping up. And if you're bored by everything else in the hub, you can pop around here into the bar. You can't really buy any drinks, which is unfortunate. You can just stand on the guy's head, which is, you know, amusing to say the least. But you can play the jukebox. So you can just press the use key on this and it'll cycle through uh, many of the tracks that are available in this particular mod. All of which are pretty damn cool. There's a lot of unique music that's been created for this particular mod. And, uh, seriously. It's friggin' great. It is absolutely friggin' fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a secret level or something through there, because this guy requires a, a particular key to get through. And, uh, do I have the key? I don't see any key on you. Yeah. oh well, it was worth a try. But, um, I, I'm really looking forward to spending a lot more... <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time with this particular mod. It just seems to be... Something I could play for an extremely long time uh, and, and not hit the wall of frustration, so to speak. You know that point where you get a little tired of a particular mod? I can see this one entertaining me for a very, very long time. But in either case, I am going to go stock up on a little bit of health here. Increase my maximum health by a few more points and maybe my armor as well while I'm at it. And what I'm going to do is pop in to one of the stages I haven't completed yet just so I can show you what is supposed to happen when you actually use the uh, super weapon power-up. So we're going to have that ready. And then I'm going to tell you to go away, because I need a drink after that victory. Anyway, this is Crimson. Deadline. Uh, not finished yet. A bonus of 400 bonus credit bucks. So yeah, I'm, I'm taking those chances. Cool, so this is Crimson, which appears to be some kind of floaty island type thing. I'm okay with this. Anyway, it looks like we've got Kaka Demons up first. They're going to be the first to feel the wrath of my special super weapon power up. What have we got? A fr <laughs> it appears to be a frisbee. Okay, that didn't entirely go as planned, but to be perfectly honest, that power up is a little bit unpredictable. And considering there are 18 weapons in total in this particular mod, it's entirely likely that you're going to come across something duff every now and again using that particular power up. But if you're lucky, you'll occasionally get your hands on something like this, which is a dual homing missile launcher, which is pretty badass. And if you're even luckier than that, you can get your hands on this puppy right here. This is Stronghold's version of the BFG 9000, and just look at it. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. I love the reskins of the weaponry in this mod, to be perfectly honest. There's just something chunky and satisfying about it. And what I enjoy about this one is, is just the animation when you launch it. Oh, that's just lovely. That is pretty nice. But, yeah. Fantastic mod. Just uber satisfying, uber fun to play. Pretty good challenge as well. I seriously advise you bring along a few friends if you're planning on playing this yourself. But if you're interested, the link, as usual, is in the description below. Feel free to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any mods that you'd like me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed, then consider giving that button a big old click in order to keep up with future releases. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Mr. Icarus. Icarus out.